we stretch out our faith, endure, overcome, and persevere. Hello guys, this is Yundel. Thank you so much for dropping here today in my channel. And today's share is about stretching out our faith, endurance, overcome, and persevere. Guys, I am sharing this with you of course from my own reading in the scripture it's not always easy guys but this is just a reminder to each and every one of us that to live our best life to do the best we can for our life we have to be strong in our faith endurance is very important as well as overcoming our problems and of course persevere guys this is just a reminder to each and every one of us that we are capable of doing these things if we want to live our best life we must stop feeling frustrated of ourselves disappointments and hardships we have going through we must understand that living alive to be happy content and satisfied we must always stretch out our faith we must have endurance and we must overcome whatsoever that will come our way and of course we have to persevere how can we really do this guys but based on my experience based on how I live my life all these years guys again in my own opinion I cannot survive life without using the tools I am reading with you every day the scripture God is my anchor and I have to invite him every day in my life I must have hope I must have faith that everything will be fine even i am struggling guys please stop being depressed stop complaining that life is hard guys if you can stay happy even life is hard even you are struggling that is a very good attitude towards success towards fulfillment in our life and it's very difficult to stay happy when we are struggling to stay satisfied when we are discontent guys remember if you just set your mind into it be positive even it seems so very difficult even it seems so hard what i am saying still smile at the storm even it's hard so guys really for me reading the scripture is a must for me to enlighten my day every day to enlighten my path of life every day it is a must for me for the because what else i can do i have nothing i can do if i am not trusting it all to god and through prayers and meditations it helps me guys living our best life it needs a lot of prayer there you are if you want to live your best life pray and pray and pray a lot without ceasing to live our best life i want to share with you what is written in law Luke 22, 44. He prayed more fervently, and he was in such agony of spirit that his sweat fell to the ground like great drops of blood. Guys, I am talking about in this verse because this is written in the book of Luke, and this is about when Jesus is crucified in the cross he tried his best to persevere even he is in agony he was in the grave 
fighting the forces of darkness, restricted. He was crucified. Guys, the great enemy of death couldn't hold him down and he lives and reigns forevermore. He is our God. He also sacrificed in the cross. He was in agony. He has a huge pressure in his life just to save us. Guys, one message of the resurrection is that God uses our enemies to bless us. If your neighbor to put under pressure, if your neighbor have the, the need to stretch your feet, endure, overcome, and persevere, you won't tap into the treasure God has put inside you. So we must stay in faith. God won't allow the pressure if it is not going to work for our good. We must understand that the resurrection of Jesus is proof of how we use our enemies to bless us. That when the pressure coming our way, it feels bigger, stronger, and more powerful that we can handle. But if we, are, if we can trust God, we can use it for our good and believe that at the end we will triumph over it guys we are struggling with our life it's hard to live a life especially when you are alone but remember compare your situation god has even more sacrificing for the sake of our sin he was in agony in the garden of Gethsemane and by that he was also crucified he has to die because of our sin yes we experience pressure God has been pressured in the garden of Gethsemane we are pressured sometimes in our lives but remember that that pressure it won't tap into the treasures God put inside us if we don't experience dust. So therefore, no matter what is happening with us, we must stay in faith, have endurance, overcome and persevere because God won't allow the pressure to happen into us if it is not going to work out for our God. Good. Remember the pressure is for our good. He is there for us. And what he has experienced in the Garden of Gethsemane, we are going to experience that as well. But remember that it is for our own good. To stretch out our faith, endurance, overcoming our struggles, and persevere. It's very important that we must stay strong and believe that what is happening in our life right now, we can make it. We can solve the problem because as the scripture says, God will not allow it to happen if we cannot survive it. If we cannot handle it, He allows it to happen so we can understand that this is a part of our life journey. This is just to let us understand and learn something that at the end we will triumph from all the struggles and difficulties and frustrations, hardships in life we have experienced. He allow it to happen so we can feel happy, satisfied, and content at the end of this journey. Yes, we feel triumph, we feel the success and happiness of it when we can appreciate what God has experienced. In the garden of Gethsemane. It is the same with our life. 
God has a pressure at the time. And in our life experience as well, day by day, we experience a lot of pressure of our situation, life situation, our problems, and all these things. This is all a part of the process. And all we have to do, we must just stay strong in faith. Stretch out our faith. Endurance overcoming and persevere all the time remember you are not alone and how to do this guys invite god into your life every day and be grateful that he is leading and guiding us every day this is Yundel. thank you so much for listening thank you so much for dropping here in my channel today i am very grateful guys to each and every one of you I love you all and bye-bye.